Hi guys, I just received my OpenCV AI kit in the mail and I'm very excited so I wanted to share the experience with you. I just want to unpack it and do a quick little test to see if it works. Sorry for the rest of the video, I used my wrong microphone and it doesn't really sound well but what can you do? Uh, hopefully it's bearable, please let me know in the comments and Thank you for watching. So when you open the box, you can find these two cards. One of them is for the documentation and how to go through the documentation, which was pretty useful. And the other one is like a business card. Then of course you have the actual Oak one, which I was, which I was surprised to see it was uh, with some aluminium covering. I suppose it's aluminium. Um, It was really good because I expected it just to be the actual camera and the motherboard. They gave me some casing which was really nice and this aluminium casing looks cool. And then uh, we can see the rest of the box the rest of the box contains the cable, power cable and some lens wipe which is really nice. The power cable, to my surprise, is actually USB-C. Um, I thought it would be micro USB or mini USB or something like this. No, it's actually USB-C. So when we take it out, we will not only see that it's USB-C, but it's USB-3. So maybe they need lots of data transfer. That's why they pick this. I don't really mind, but it, it, it's really good. Like USB-C to usb I can use it for other stuff as well. Um, so you can see here the actual Oak one with the what I think is aluminium casing. It has a grill like shape. Um, I suppose it's for cooling. Maybe it's just for the cool look. I'm not sure. But uh, whichever it is, it looks great. The camera is on the front, you can see at the bottom is the USB-C port and at the back you can see this which is uh, an attachment hole which you can use for maybe a tripod or something you just put it on or uh, just have some boat which is pretty useful to be fair and that's really it. It's really small which is good as, as advertised it's lightweight i thought it would be a bit heavier and a bit chunkier but no it's actually really good so let's go ahead and test it if we go to the documentation list on the card we can see the different products and uh, we care about all one here so you can see the different products and all that and if we click on get started for all one we'll get to know a little bit more the product uh what's in the actual box and the thing we care about most is the setup so let's go ahead to the setup and it says python api straight away which is great for me there are a couple of options to install it you can use chocolatey you can use uh, other things depending on your OS and most importantly you can install it through pip which is what I will use because I'm most comfortable with it you're welcome to choose the one that fits you most so there are some cool examples down below so before we try it out you have to install it so let's head to the anaconda prompt I guess and then what we need to do first is create an environment where to run the experiments i'll name this environment opencv and inside the environment what we want to do i make it 3.7 just to be on the safe side between using the newest available version and actually being supported maybe it's for 3.9 i don't know but just to make sure when your um, environment by the way is ready we just activate it important step 
and then what we want to do is simply type in pip install and then the library which in this case is depth ai and then what we want to do is simply clone the github repository with the actual example and so that's what i'm doing here then what we want to do is actually install the requirements for this uh, example and it will install some extra libraries it, it's the usual stuff you need to do usually i check the libraries now i was so excited that i just literally copy pasted it um and actually that's kind of worrying but i would double check them um now it shouldn't be anything which strikes me as uh, a cyber threat because that's also CV after all. You get some messages from Pookie, and then what we can do is actually you can see all the installed libraries they actually required. Now that I'm looking in a retrospective, uh, it's kind of yucky, but uh, yeah, what can I do? <laughs> I can probably I can install them, but I don't want to. And the next step we want to do is simply run the test script unfortunately i placed the camera just below my desk so it was really convenient uh, you see in a second what what happens but uh, what you want to do is just depthai python depthai demo.py and what will happen okay so we can see that it's actually working that was the whole point of uh, this video it's doing some post processing is downloading the actual models so you can see model compiler and it's using mobile net with ssd uh, we can see that the precision just from here is 14.16 okay we can't really tell much more because it was too fast and now you can see i'm actually showing it a coin um and it's recognizing it as a bottle which is Maybe you can say it's annoying, but on the other hand, it simply wasn't trained with coins, so I get that. The person and sofa are a bit off, but maybe maybe my fingers looks like a sofa, look like a sofa, I don't know. Um, maybe the model is not that great, but the thing is that the actual camera and everything is working. The resolution, as far as I can tell, is pretty good. The autofocus is impressive and it's really fast. You can see that my phone apparently is a TV monitor and a chair in some occasions, but uh, you can see that it's recognizing where it is and that there is an object. Um, the, um, maybe it wasn't really trained with phones and it probably isn't. And you can see that the actual neural network frames per second is 30 to 31. Uh, I didn't realize I have to press Q to end it. Uh, I tried. <laughs> just closing the window which didn't work but yeah i'm pretty impressed if it's working uh because they claim of the actual processing is happening on the actual camera itself that's pretty impressive for 30 fps for the neural network i think it's capped because the actual footage is 30 fps but even if it's not capped that's pretty impressive because it's running a object detection neural network um mobile net with ssd on it so single shot um, multiple detection which is pretty impressive for me uh, i couldn't get something like this to work on my laptop and i'm not sure if it's using my processor on my pc which would be kind of cheating uh, but if it's not it's really good even if it is uh, it's a good little camera um, which has some kind of integrated functionalities i would have to look into it a bit more in depth so you can see here i just opened up the code because i was curious how it does what it did what it does and um i can see that there are lots of things which are library specific and i can see that they've done lots of things just to display uh the data to handle key presses and um, and it's a complex example this one there is a hello world one which is much more simpler but this would do pretty much what we want at the end of the day so that's why i decided to play this one 
I'll record one more video where I show show it a bottle because apparently there is a bottle in the classes and I'll make sure the room is actually well lit just to test it out and uh, that would be pretty much for this for this video if you have any ideas um, that you can give me what to do with this new gadget I would be more than happy to read your comments if you want you can come to the discord server I created um, there are some people already in there King Koro I'm soon to publish the video on the TensorFlow 2 um, direct ML comparison sorry about not, push, not uh, publishing it now and publishing this it just arrived in the mail so I, was, I decided to just do it right away and if you don't have any ideas I'll probably uh, upload a video with this gadget soon enough because um, I'm doing the Marco course and there is um, one of the projects involves something like this I'm not sure what I can actually tell about the course itself because I don't want to it's a paid course I, I don't want to I don't want to jeopardize my involvement in it uh, but I really like it so far I would definitely encourage everyone who's expiring to be anything to do with um, mechanical engineering uh, stuff uh, just check it out and also I will be uploading my builds um, I'm pretty sure that should be okay with uh, the terms and conditions of the course um, I'm doing some builds as part of the course and I'll just upload them and how I actually made them without as I said without jeopardizing any of the terms and conditions of the actual course itself so thank you very much for watching it was uh, kind of a long video I will leave the uh, bottle example um, on the screen right now so you can see it and other than that thank you very much to all of you to all of the new people who subscribed um, I know you may not think it's a big deal but it's a big deal for me every new subscriber means a lot and it's putting me a little bit more pressure on me to uh, put more and better videos uh, I wouldn't say that one was better of my own ones but uh, I'm really trying guys and uh, hopefully the next couple of videos will definitely live up to the standard so thank you very much again and see you next time